Hello my curious friends. Today in this video we are going to learn about how to calculate the equilibrium level of national income from the given data. The data is given as autonomous consumption equals to 1200 autonomous taxes they are equal to 1750 whereas the planned investment expenditure it is given equal to the 2800s and government expenditure which is equal to 1950 autonomous net export it is equal to 350 we are also given some rates like marginal tax rate which is equal to 0 0.16 marginal propensity to consume which is equal to 0 0.7 and marginal propensity to import it is equal to 0 0.08 whereas the numbers which are given here are in millions here the autonomous consumption it is represented usually by letter a and the autonomous taxes which is uh, represented by T and the planned investment expenditure it is represented by capital I and the government expenditure it is represented by capital G whereas the net exports it is represented by NX or we can write it as x minus m that is exports minus imports the marginal tax rate it is represented by small t whereas the marginal propensity to consume it is represented by small b the marginal propensity to import it is represented by small letter m now to calculate the equilibrium level of national income that is y we will write the national income identity which is equal to y equals to c plus g plus i plus nx this is our basic identity of calculating the national income where y represents the national income uh, yeah, or equilibrium level of national income c it is the consumption expenditure g it is the government expenditure i it is the planned investment expenditure and nx it represents the net exports of the country if we see in this uh, uh, data which are given in our question we are not given this letter C or uh, consumption expenditure the consumption expenditure that is C it can be calculated using a formula that is C equals to A plus B Y D where A it is the autonomous consumption which is given in our question as 1200 millions where this B it represents the marginal propensity to consume which is equal to 0 0.7 given in our question then next this is YD YD it is the disposable income disposable income is that part of income which remains after giving the tax therefore uh, this YD it will be equal to Y minus T that is income national income uh, subtracted by the total tax given now the national income identity it can be rewritten by substituting the value of C in, in this equation we can write it as y equals to a plus b y d plus g plus i plus nx now it can be simplified by substituting the value of yd as y minus t therefore y equals to a plus b this yd it is equal to y minus 
empty the rest will remain same is g plus i plus nx now the equation can again be rewritten as y equals to a plus b y minus now give to the way uh, give the value of t as tax rate and income so it will become the net amount of tax which will be paid to the government and the rest equation will remain same as g plus i plus nx now this will be our final equation and in this equation we will put all these variables which are given in our question to calculate the national income so to calculate the value of y y equals to the value of a it is given as 1200 1200 plus the value of b it is given as mm, 0 0.7 0 0.7 the y will remain as it is y minus t the value of t is given as 0 0.16 and y and the value of g equal to 1950-1950 plus the value of i it is given as 2800 plus nx it is given as 350 now y equals to 1200 plus 0 0.7 it will remain as it is now this 1y minus 0 0.16y it will be equal to 0 0.84y plus 1950 plus 2800 plus 350 now y equals to if we calculate uh, the sum of these 1200 plus 350 it will sum up to 6300 plus 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.8 for y it will be equal to 0 0.588 y now transpose this term to this side it uh, is here plus sign will become uh, as negative sign so it will become as y minus 0 0.588 y equal to 6300 now factor out this y in uh, from these both terms y here it will remain as 1 minus 0 0.588 equal to 6300 now y 1 minus 0 0.588 it will be equal to as 0 0.412 equal as to 6300 now to calculate the value of this y we will transpose 0 0.412 to this side it will get a sub um, sorry it will get divided to this number so y equal as to 6300 divided by 0 0.412 now to calculate the value of y divide 0 uh, 3600 divided by 0 0.412 it will be equal to y equals to 15291.2 hence this is the national income when the data in our hypothetical economy are given as uh, all this